Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen of the press. Thank you for joining me today as we address concerns circulating regarding the Draft Tax Administration and Procedure Act that has garnered attention. It is imperative that we always provide accurate information to the solution public to dispel any misconceptions. First and foremost, I want to make it clear that the draft bill in circulation was initiated during the term of the United Workers' Party administration, as evidenced by Cabinet Conclusion Number 1511 of 2020. The Cabinet Conclusion reads, and I quote, Cabinet considered a memorandum dated 13th November 2020 submitted by the Department of Finance and approved the request for creation of the Tax Administration and Procedures Act to harmonize the administrative collections and penal provisions of the various pieces of legislation that are currently administered by the Inland Revenue Department. Further, by memo dated November 3rd, 2020, December 3rd, 2020, from the Ministry of Finance, Economic Growth, Job Creation, External Affairs, and Public Service, headed by the former Prime Minister, states, the Department of Finance wishes to inform the Cabinet by conclusion number 1511, of 2020, considered a memorandum dated 13th November 2020, submitted by the Department of Finance, and approved the request for creation of the Tax Administrative Procedures Act to harmonize the administrative collections and penal provisions of the various pieces of legislation that are currently administered by the Inland Revenue Department. The aforementioned is for your attention and necessary action. Can I read that again? By memo dated December 3rd, 2020, from the Ministry of Finance, Economic Growth, Job Creation, External Affairs, and the Public Service, headed by the former Prime Minister states, the Department of Finance wishes to inform that by Cabinet Conclusion Number 1511 of 2020, considered a memorandum dated 14 November 2020, submitted by the Department of Finance, and approved the request for creation of the Tax Administration for Creation of the Tax Administrative Procedures Act to harmonize the administrative collections and penal provisions of the various pieces of legislation that are currently administered by the Inland Revenue Department. The aforementioned is for your attention and necessary action. It is clear that the instructions for preparation of the draft bill came from the former Prime Minister and Minister of Finance. Let me inform the public of St. Lucia that the cabinet which I lead has never seen the draft bill now in circulation. The cabinet that I lead has never seen the draft bill now in circulation. It is clear And it's my understanding is that consistent with our approach of transparency, dialogue, and open government, the draft bill prepared on instruction from the former Prime Minister is open for public discussion. My government's policy on tax is clear. We have increased, increased the tax threshold to $24,000, meaning that anyone who earns 
$2,000 and less per month, pays no income tax. My government has given the most generous tax amnesty in the history of St. Lucia, where all forms of fines, penalties, and interest have been cancelled on all outstanding tax arrears, including VAT. This is the statement, and I have in circulation the memo from the Ministry of Finance, Economic Growth, Job Creation, External Affairs, and Public Service. There is no such ministry in my administration. And it says, which I have read for you, Cabinet, by conclusion, approved the request for creation, approved the request for creation of the Tax Administrative Procedures Act to harmonize the administrative collections and penal provisions of the various pieces of legislation that are currently administered by the Inland Revenue Department. The aforementioned is for your attention and necessary action. That's a memo from the Ministry to the Comptroller of Inland Revenue, to the Director of Research, instructing them to prepare the draft bill that's in circulation. My government has absolutely no input in that bill. My cabinet has not seen that bill. That bill has been circulated with our position on transparency and accountability, and it's been circulated for public discussion. It has not come to cabinet. It has not been approved, and it's not our creation. It's the creation of the former government. Can I get any questions? Thank you very much. We will email you the, the statement. At the, the statement. We email it. We email, we email it to you. Yes. Questions. I, I just read for, for, that, saying, that is the circulation is for public discussion by, by the technocrats, the technical people. Before it comes, you go and, and give it to the public. The same we did for several other bills. This memo is from 2020. Yes, right? Your yes. administration came into power in 2020. Yes. Right. Um, was this bill ever in circulation or for consultation? Prior to it hadn't been prepared. It had not been prepared. No, these instructions to prepared came from, from 2020. The instructions came from here. To prepare it, and you, 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 you take time to prepare a bill, don't you? Yes. Yes. So the, this is from the AG's office, right? It would be on What's the AG's office? Who's preparing the bill? The Same bill. Contract. Okay, okay, okay. You want, you know, let's go for it. The important point is that the instruction to prepare the bill came from the former government. That's what's important. The, the, after that, it's procedural. Not the AG or the Inland Revenue, the instruction, the order to repair the bill came from the former Prime Minister as evidenced by a document. We, we, we're not getting involved in you say, I say, she say. A document, which is an instruction from the former Prime Minister to repair the bill. What happens after that? Based on instructions, the Inland Revenue proceeded to prepare a bill which, according to the instruction, according to the instruction, it says to harmonize the administrative collections and penal provisions of the various pieces of legislation. That's what's written. I didn't say that. Uh, hold on. Hold on. After it is prepared by the technical people, it is circulated. And then it comes to the cabinet. The cabinet opines, discusses, and it turns it to the attorney general for necessary changes, and then it goes to the parliament. Anything before that is just a piece of paper. So what you have is a piece of paper. You have, no, you have a piece of paper that was prepared by the technocrats for discussion and circulation on instruction from the former minister of finance. He gave the instructions to be paid. Um, there are concerns. The entire new government. Go ahead. 
go ahead, go ahead. Let her go ahead. Go ahead. There are concerns about the bill. People who have seen it, they have become the concerns of the restrictions on movement. We don't speak the concerns. and we have. What I'm saying to you is that what I want to dispel, that bill was not initiated by my government. It's not our ideas that are in this bill. This bill was prepared on instruction by the former government with the following, with the following, with the following instructions. To harmonize the administrative collections and penal provisions of the various pieces of legislation that are currently administered by the Evil and Revenue Department. But that was all this bill. When it comes to me, when it comes to the cabinet. So you're telling me technocrats from your department, yes. Your, your ministry, yes. are doing something and you have no idea about They are doing what they have to do. They have to circulate. Because you see, it only becomes important when it's passed. Right now, it's a piece of paper. It only becomes important when it goes through the processes. It's a piece of paper for circulation. That's all it is. The Prime Minister is going through consultation. Yes. Right now. Uh -huh. Yes, and that is why we have the consultation. the consultation. But what I'm talking about is the blame. What I'm talking about is the fact that Philip J. Pierre is the one who did that. That's the point I'm making. But you could, you, so what are your thoughts on that? I haven't seen it. I haven't read it. You, if I, you, I'd be confused too, I, because I would, because I would not, I could not understand how I, I how people can lie like that. I I I'm agree. I'm confused too, because when I saw you all making a fuss of it, I was wondering what 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 are you talking? About? I'm confused myself. So I I, blame, I don't blame you for your confusion. I, I I'm hoping you can clear. I can't clear what I didn't initiate. Okay. Um. Recently, at your cabinet briefing, well, earlier this week on Monday, you said that the forty million dollar loan from the and I remember you saying that the monies from the, those monies would be used for revamping the operations of the Inland Revenue Department. What's, you, you what's, the about, what's the relation to that? You spoke about um, modernization, yeah, what's the, yeah, streamlining ahead. and everything. Yeah, uh -huh. So is this, is this bill part of that plan? A bill? Part of a plan to modernize? No, 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 no. You have it. Let's go through that slowly. Let's go through slowly. There's no need to be confused. In December 2020, the former Minister of Finance instructed the Inland Revenue to prepare a bill to harmonize. No, hold on, hold on. I'm having a press conference to harmonize administrative collections and penal provisions of the various pieces of legislation that are currently admitted in 2020. What you're speaking about is in 2023 is a grant or a loan to deal with procedures in revenue, collections of taxes, records, not to prepare any bills. Completely different things. Um, so give me a but there's no connection so, between the okay. two. Okay. How is there no connection? There's no connection. He just said, he just said procedures and everything. So right, so so procedures. Operations on the neighborhood. Just spoke about all right. Procedures. So let me give you an example. Let's say Indian Revenue needs money or but money's money to for paper. Some of that loan from the forty million dollars will be allocated to help them with their those kinds of office. The operations. operations. Who elect the Minister of Finance? Answer. But he explained it so I'm it to explain it more than the other. And he is the minister, right? What I'm saying to you, what I'm saying to you, if I were you, if I were you, I'd be confused at the actions of the former Minister of Finance. Because if I had initiated an instruction mm -hmm. to prepare a bill, and the bill is now in the public domain, I would have allowed the public to discuss it. And don't blame somebody who did not instruct to repair it, I wouldn't blame them. That's what I'm confused about. Okay, so the, the idea of the modernizing of the operation of the Rate 5 and have nothing to do with the circulation of a draft bill that was instructed by the former Minister of Finance. You, you're losing me. Maybe. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on.
Mr. Prime Minister, you've been in, you've been a member of the the government for the past what, 30 years, 25 years. As many as you want. I'm, I'm just asking, right? So you know better than me that in a working so of these things, right? So I'm, I'm 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 relying on you for your expertise right now. A draft bill that was prepared. It doesn't matter when it was prepared. It doesn't matter. We, we understand it was prepared. I didn't say it was prepared. I never said so. I said it instructed. Okay, the instructions, yes, right? Yes, yes. So the instructions were from back then, but you were part of the cabinet at that time. No. You don't even know that day. It's 2020. No, no. Yes, but you were in opposition. Yes, I was in the cabinet. But the cabinet, the cabinet. Sorry. You see, you all have me so confused. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is so confusing. This is very confusing. And I'm trying to put it together. So... You were, you, were, you were part of the government. Let's just no, I was not. I was not. You were in opposition. Yes. Right, you were in opposition. Uh -huh. Now, when you were in opposition, uh -huh. you have knowledge no, of... No, no. No knowledge? No. No knowledge. Absolutely no knowledge. Cabinet, you see, cabinet meets with, with, with government ministers uh -huh. and parliament uh -huh. meets with elected members. Ah, okay. Thank you. So I guess uh, now I know where the confusion was. Okay, so the bill was, the instruction was in 2020. Yeah. But you are in the process of revamping the operations of the Inland Revenue Department yeah. right now. Uh -huh. So what I want to ask you Please. is, yeah. during your, while you're revamping the, the operations of the Inland Revenue Department, uh -huh. is this bill, the draft bill, uh -huh. going to come into play now, no. is it going to be passed? The, now? the draft bill is in is being discussed. Mm -hmm. The discussion after the discussion, a draft will be sent to the minister of finance. Mm -hmm. The minister of finance will look at it, send it back for to the inner department. That will deal consult the attorney general. And then it will come to the cabinet of ministers. And the, cabinet, the minister of finance will present it like the former minister of finance instructed. The present minister of finance will present it to the cabinet. The cabinet will opine. It will go back to the accountant general for the necessary changes. And then it will be presented to parliament for debate where everybody can speak. Okay. That's when so, it becomes law. So let's go back to what is your personal opinion? I do not know. Because I've not seen a draft from the from the inner revenue. Okay. So we'll take a question. Yes. I thought you you'd be very happy about the tax amnesty instead, about you not paying in fines and taxes. I thought that would be important. Yes. Since you place emphasis on tax policy and implementation, would would this be merit some of the tax reforms? That is why it's in it's in discussion. You see, that is not that's a piece of paper. It is not going anywhere. It's for the public discussion, and people are raising their queries. And we have nothing against people raising their queries, you know. What we take umbrage to is the fact that you blame the present government. That's what we take umbrage to, because it's not right. It, we, we have no we have no problems with, with the with the with the discussions, you know. People can say, people can raise concerns. That's why it's in discussion. You may recall when there was a tax on charcoal that was gazetted. You may recall that, right? It was gazetted that there would be a tax on charcoal production, on 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 production of, of black pudding, on production of, of things. That was that was that was law that which we have not which we have not implemented. That is still the law. This what you're watching is a piece of paper that's in distribution for discussion based on an instruction from the former Minister of Finance to put it together. That's what you see. You see nothing else but that. But what we are concerned about is the, the lies, I use the word lies, that these are measures proposed by this government. That it, what is there is, comes from instructions as evidenced by instruction from this ministry to the parliament, to the Commission of Revenue. It wasn't me who gave the instruction. That's what's important. That's what we're saying. Yes. Um, hold on. Yeah, but um, <clears throat> from what your position is, 
question about Pulset. A lot of the disquiet came from, I think, an exit of whatever document it is, that um, something about houses being seized Okay. Have you read? Are you 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 may be you may be very young. You may not know that there was a time in Saint Lucia when you could not travel if you didn't have a tax clearance. You know that? Yes. You do, you don't know who removed it? Kenny Anthony and the Labour Party. You know, I, <laughs> I'm glad. I, I want to hope that I want to understand, and especially the 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 reporters who are confused. There was a time in Saint Lucia. When you could not travel, unless that's something called a tax clearance, you went to the interior department, they looked and they said, no, you can't travel, you must pay $10 in your tax, and you couldn't travel. So this is not new legislation. That's, there. that's been there all the time. But it was kept in the books, so we clean it up. So the intention is to clean it up, which is, which is, which is a right intention. The intention that is correct. That's a perfect intention. That did not say, I will never accuse the former prime minister of putting that in legislation. I, that's not my style. I speak the truth. I will never accuse him. What I am saying is that was his instruction. That's what I'm saying. I'm not saying he put it there. The same way he should not say I put it there. And that's the point. That's what's important. I'm not saying he put it. He should not say I put it. And I want to tell you that there was a time in St. Lucia when you could not travel without a tax clearance. And Kenny Anthony and the Labour Party removed it from the books. Okay. Next question. You're saying to you? You can you can allow it to. Go ahead. I just want to ask the Prime Minister to elaborate on his plans for the I think if you just there is no what I want Tell us what exactly you intend to do so that all the I intend the interview to continue to circulate bills for, for circulation and discussion. No, you, you, you I intend them to, I want them to continue to circulate bills for discussion and for dialogue before it becomes law. Your proposed um, revamping of the interview the department, they, they, there are situations where the IT processes must improve so this will become a modern department. This all. So, when you come a modern department where they can, information is easier, where you can go in today and find how much you owe, etc., using IT, using technology to make it a modernized tax department. So, information can be easier. As, me, as it regards to bills and regulations, the procedure will be the same. It will come from an instruction from a ministry, like was the instruction from the ministry in 2020. The bill is going to be prepared. Necessary public discussion, and it will come back to the cabinet, then go to law. There will be no change, I can assure you. Um, can I ask you something off-topic? No, I, w I want to, un to disabuse yes. your minds of the confusion. Because, you know, I did something. Mistruths become truths if they're not cleared. Okay. Now, the only reason why you sound confused, because you cannot believe, and I agree with you, you cannot... I never said I was confused, sorry. Oh, I'm sorry, okay. Right. Thank <laughs> 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 I'm glad. I'm glad. You see, let me tell you. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why my good friend is confused because she can't believe. She cannot believe that it is. You have a document that gives an instruction to prepare a bill, and when the bill is prepared for discussion, after you give the instruction, you blame the person who had nothing to do with it. So I agree for. I was confused myself. I said, but what really is going on? What is going on? Till I, I was told what is happening. But Prime Minister, yes. I think the confusion comes from the fact that you're saying that you're not, you're not aware of this bill. That's a fact. Something that is, I mean, this is the Inland Revenue Department. Yes. So you think they're technocrats, basically, that did this. Mm -hmm. And they're doing something. I said the contents. No, is my language correctly? Is okay. my language correctly? <laughs> yes. But this is being done. Whatever is being done right mm -hmm. now. This has been done, right, by people that work in your ministry, uh -huh. and you are unaware. But what must I be aware of? That's discussion. There is not. There is nothing, my my good lady. There is nothing. That's discussion. That's not the law. It hasn't reached me yet to make a discussion on. Yes. The, the, the question is, uh -huh. is because a lot of people have, uh, including chamber 
They haven't come to me. It has not come to me. It has not come to me. Yes. Uh huh. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So everyone is concerned, mm -hmm. and you, as the minister for finance and the prime minister, are saying uh -huh. that you are you are unaware of, I, of a bill like this. This is unprecedented, by the way. Can I can I explain to you? Can I explain to you? Right? It's not unprecedented. It is not, not. It is a bill that scares a lot of people because people are concerned that they lose their, their homes, they're not able to travel. That is the concern. And I agree with them. So people are coming to you as the Minister of Finance. Can you tell us, lay our fears that, again, right now the consultation is going on, the, the concerns that we, we um, registered during this consultative um, process, that this will be incorporated in the final draft, that we will not be seeing some of the things that we currently see in this bill, right? That's the concern. You as the Minister of Finance, they're asking you, can you allay our fears? We are concerned about this. Can I explain something to you? you, you did you hear me before? Did, did, did you hear me a while ago? Did you hear me a while ago? You heard what I said? Did you hear what I said? There was a time in St. Lucia when you could not travel. That, I, I think that doesn't sunk, that hasn't sunk in your mind. I, I heard you. Right, fine. You. No, that's a fact. And I'm saying to you, what you see now is for discussion. We will opine when I hear officially from the Inner Revenue Department what they're, they're, they're I do not speak unless I have official documentation. When Inner Revenue comes to me and they say, Prime Minister, we held discussions at the Chamber of Commerce, we held discussions with the, the uh, chartered accountants, we discussions with the business people, here are their concerns. Our recommendation is such. We are going to delete that, include that, then I come in. I do not speak prematurely. Speaking now is speaking prematurely. Because, I'm, look, I'm hearing you say, I mean, some of the people say, so I need to get a document from the authoritative people. These are the people who have been charged with tax, the Inland Revenue Department. When they come back to me with a piece of proposed legislation that I have to opine on, I will opine on it to get my cabinet, seek necessary advice, and then I'll make a public statement. I agree that everybody should express their concerns. This is why it's in circulation. Everybody should concerns, but I'm not opining on what I do not know. No one has written me officially with any complaints about that bill. No one. What's happening now is discussion. That's all. So there's no need, because these, these, that, that instruction from the Minister of Finance was to put together 12 existing acts. There are 12 laws written to income tax in St. Lucia, 12. 12 laws, yes, 12 of them. There are 12 acts written to tax in St. Lucia, 12. That instruction by the former prime minister was to put these things together into one piece of legislation. In that piece of legislation, everybody is seeing now what existed in the 12 acts. So people are querying. Right, right, what you say. You've, never, you've not heard this Prime Minister condemn anybody for querying. You've not heard me say that they should not query. All we're saying to you is what they're querying on is a piece of paper and on existing law. That's all we're saying. So what is that going to happen? When the queries are put together into this document on the instruction of the former Prime Minister, then we are going to open. Okay. So right now, nothing has changed. Right now, concerns are good. Debate is robust. We're happy about it. But nothing has changed. Nothing has happened. It will only happen when it goes to the, to the parliament. It hasn't gone there. So, yes, go ahead. If this, as it is, or maybe a few changes are done, and this goes through the final process where it's drafted finally at the legislative level, mm -hmm. and it goes through the final process where it's drafted finally at the legislative level, and it goes through the When I see the draft, I'm in agreement with what he initiated. Of course, I'm in agreement with it. I'm in agreement with it. It's a good idea. It's a very good idea. 
Of course, because how you can have 12 pieces of legislation for, 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 for tax in this country? Investors are confused. Everybody's confused. You've got to go for income tax, this and that, house tax, property tax, VAT tax. You put all of it in one bill. That's a, that's a brilliant idea. What? That you not a copy of this bill. No, but there is no bill to. <laughs> I guess. I guess. I. 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 Yes. Good. Yes. 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 That the instruction was to put those existing pieces of legislation together into one thing, to well, amalgamate. That, that's what you said, right? That's what the former how, prime minister said. Right. How is it that you, being a, 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 a member of the government for 25 years? No, no, wrong, 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 wrong. wrong. Yes, let's, let's get, let's get. No, 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 no. You're making, let's get it straight. I was, go ahead, go ahead, sorry, go ahead. Okay. How is it that you've been in government for so long and you have no idea or no knowledge of those 12 pieces of legislation that were already existing? I never said so. But that's what you just I said. said uh, I said I never saw the consolidated bill. That's what I said. I never said no. Okay. I said it's the but consolidated the bill. bill. Is, but the bill... The proposed the bill. The proposed bill uh -huh. is... A document that puts these twelve existing pieces yes. of legislation yeah. together. Yeah. So how is it you? What what knowledge? what are you asking me? You ask me whether I know about twelve legislation. Of course I know about twelve legislation, but I don't know about the twelve. The, I don't know about the consolidated. That's what I'm saying. So consultation is happening to so consolidate. Did the twelve legislation? Let the minister of finance answer. But the because you know, as you're not asking the minister of finance questions. You know, as the minister of finance questions, you know, you're not doing that. You 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 saying things. I'm asking. Asking me what? I am asking you. Uh -huh. Because I, I cannot understand. Ask me what? I'm asking you. Uh -huh. How is it that you say that you do not know the contents? I never said so. I said I do not. I have not seen what is being prepared, which is a consolidation of these twelve acts. I have not seen it. That's what I said. But you have knowledge of the twelve acts. Of course, I know what you're talking about. And again, as the minister of uh -huh. finance, mm -hmm. you said it was a good idea to put it together. Yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What is your opinion on this piece of? When I see the opinion, I haven't seen it. I haven't seen the consolidated bills.